NCIS has been on TV for over 20 years and has 20 seasons. And it's not over yet. Ever wondered if the cast had any fun behind the scenes? Um, everyone knows that. It's a common texting shorthand. Very common, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. From playfully embarrassing one another. And, uh, stop it. To sharing unexpected life hacks. And then ah. no one sees it. <laughs> Today, our beloved agents won't be in their usual serious mode. This is a show that has everything except a really good, hummable, um, like, credit sequence. Instead, they'll be bringing lots of humor. Stop it, Mark. I'm focusing here. Um, I can tell. Oh, yeah. Keeping focused was a real struggle sometimes. Yeah, I can't talk right now. Now we're shooting. <laughs> In the middle of those serious scenes, sometimes something would just randomly fall down. <laughs> or someone backstage would decide it was the perfect time for a sneeze. What is this gonna tell us? Bless you! God bless you. He buys and sells lunch boxes on eBay. <laughs> we can check his feedback rating, see if anyone has a beef with him. And it's no secret how fond the cast was of giving those friendly slaps to the back of the head. Hey boss. I was just telling Ziva about this lead that I... Yeah, I heard. It's an American custom and form of affection. As soon as someone started... It was very hard to stop. Then it was up to the warden to step in, you know, to smooth things over. Oh boy. But in fact, Chief Agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs was the maestro behind crafting a unique mess on the set. To <laughs> me. <laughs> a crime-solving kingpin feared by criminals. That's just on the screen. In real life, he's all about goofing off. <laughs> and a flirting. Mr. Mark Harmon! <laughs> I'm here so my director can get a better shot. <laughs> I swear I took an Altoid. Yes, Mr. Mark Harmon. You're <laughs> Harmon's colleagues absolutely love him for his sense of humor, especially the female members. And we can totally see why. <laughs> I can't get this to me a lot of time. Your ears too, they just get very red. Stop, I can feel you're looking at me. <laughs> Harmon's got a fan club, it seems. Because Michael Weatherly also had a knack for making Cody to Pablo blush quite often. However, she made an effort not to display it overtly. Your number is known, Cody, right? <laughs> <laughs> the men love to tease the actress. I admit it, I'm jealous. He likes me. Uh, I, I think I like you. Tell me, tell me, uh, I think I love you. <laughs> so what am I so, so afraid, afraid of? <laughs> Even after leaving the show 10 years ago, Cody still says how much she loved the job, especially the chance to bond with her peers. You guys get to have a lot of fun. We do, we do. And most likely, she enjoyed the chance to see them in all their glory. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be a really good day. Oh my god. Unexpected turn, huh? I'm guessing a lot of people would have loved to be in her shoes. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> oh yeah, this is really good. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas Come. to all of you at ET. <laughs> well, Christmas is right around the corner. But take a look at how adorable Cody's embarrassment is. Although, in truth, it was her character Ziva who was meant to be the primary seductress. We started at the beginning with skirts and heels the first season. And then we quickly found out that it was not very practical. Yep, it's definitely impractical when you have to be a badass and show off your fighting skills. Not surprisingly, fans absolutely adored Ziva. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> but they loved Abby Shudo as well. The eccentric and gothic scientific expert really stood out among her colleagues, partly because of her creative appearance. I'm crazy about Abby. But there was something that actress Polly Perrette really hated. Something different about you. Well, I got a new tattoo, but it's strategically placed somewhere that you can't see. 
Exactly. Her neck tattoos. It was sticky. I don't, it has to put water all over me. It goes on my back. And then later on in the day, it gets all gummy and sticky depending on the... Still growing? That's what he says every day in the night. Poor Polly had to do it over and over again. We, we were trying to figure out how many times we've done this. And then what have we done 110 episodes at this point? So we figured it's probably about like 600 times. Now consider how many times she had to repeat that over 15 seasons. The actress even changed her blonde hair color for the role of Abby. The things you do for art. But despite her dark look, she was actually so cute. For instance, cuddling was her favorite thing. By the way, did you know that this role was inspired by her own dog? Yes, all the moves Polly borrowed were from her furry friend. Oh, Perrette is a true dog person. So just imagine what happened when those four-legged friends showed up on the set. Work came to a halt. Oh. It's dogalicious. Oh, it's dogalicious. Yes. Okay. What we does have, that mean? We have Lots of dogs, dogs in okay. the episode, which makes me so happy because even if I don't have a scene with them, they're around on set. Surely, at times like this, she wanted to dance for joy. Six, seven, eight. And not just her, the other actors did too. Can you feel that rhythm? Michael Weatherly, on the other hand, was more into singing. You flew all the way here to ask me questions, and I didn't answer a single one of them. These songs were literally created by him on the fly. This is a tale of private investigators that are working really hard, and they're gonna find that evidence and test it forensically for clues that may help them solve the case. Poo -poo. And they would say to me, where shall we talk? Where shall we walk? And do a little pop quiz. Oh my god! So we already know that Michael had no problem with improvisation, but what about memorization? Who's the flub master? I think it's I think it's Michael. Oh, of course it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the actor is known for always blanking on his character's lines, even his own name. I'm Federico Fellini. No, I'm Sam Raimi. No, I'm James. K no, wait, hold on. I'm Michael Weather. This is NCIS behind the scenes. Now picture how tough it was for him to play the guess who said those words game. Behind me is Michael Weatherly, being Michael Weatherly. Are you ready for a pop quiz? <laughs> I'm ready. It was a real challenge for the actor. Oh gosh, gosh. Hold on, what does the studio audience say? What does the studio audience say? And he didn't get much better. So it's either Tony or Abby. And since I'm Tony, and I don't remember saying that, but I also don't remember what I had for breakfast this morning. Oh wait, no, champagne. By the way, Michael really doesn't like to lose. Funnier. <laughs> and you know. All right, fair enough. But seriously, how did the actor manage to memorize so many lines? Michael shared his little secret. Never knows his lines. He carries around these little cheat sheets. <laughs> oh, let me uh, see that. Let me see that. This is, uh, no kidding. It really is a cheat sheet. And if you're acting opposite me, what I do is I put it right, right there, there okay. and I'm like, And then ah. no one sees it. <laughs> hmm, that's a pretty good solution. Even the younger actors on the show picked up this method. Emma, how do you, how do you remember lines? Oh, well, I just put them on James. Oh, no, is that Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your famous Jim. Best crew ever. As you can see, the years may pass, but the vibe remains unchanged. Weatherly himself mentioned that it was humor that kept them afloat for so long. Everyone was on the same page. I mean, if you're gonna sleep with an extra, what do you want to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. On and off the set. I'm at the house. I'm inside the building. Calm check. Say hi. Give me a communications check. Hi. Agent Anthony Dinozo hasn't been on the show since season 13. And many other beloved characters are also absent today. They've been replaced by new ones, but we remember them all. Just looking at this cast puts you in a good mood, doesn't it? Looks like a man, and um, really, I'm immature. Who's your favorite NCIS character? Let us know in the comments.